When you think about the First World War, it has had a greater impact on the shape of our present world than probably any other event in the last century. One of the things that I want students to think about is what kind of impact the war had in different realms of human experience. So, of course, there's the experience of combat and trauma, um, but what did people do with that after the war? What did people make of their experience? And it's interesting that we choose to mark these big anniversaries in, in big ways, right? I mean, the fact that it's been a hundred years since the outbreak of World War I is what's driving all of this attention to World War I right now. We have these, these fabulous resources on the campus of Indiana University, but we don't always use them in a connected, uh, integrated way. Uh, like we did with the commemoration of uh, the beginning of World War One, and, and, and to me, th this was a perfect example of, of what we should be doing on, on a regular basis to bring together all of the great cultural uh, and other resources on the campus. Nothing seems to have changed with this, uh, with this transition from uh, living memory to, to history. The World War I initiative here in the cinema actually began in January of 2014 and we started this programming in the fall of 2013 knowing that the university was going to have a World War I initiative. We were also fortunate to be able to invite some special guests and one of those special guests was Peter Weir. There's no event in the 20th century that exists outside of film. Like, it's the, it's the, it's the medium of the 20th century. So to have that opportunity on campus is terrific. Um, it means that basically the community gets to talk to him through the interviews, students get to meet him, other faculty get to meet him. What struck me about this commemoration is the public dimension of it, bringing in, you know, um, diplomats and ambassadors as a kind of ongoing public um, concern with World War I. After all have spoken, we will have a few minutes of discussion and the panelists will then take questions from the audience as time permits. There's been many great events, but, I, but, but really one can't go past the uh, panel of ambassadors. Uh, th that was, I think, one of the most extraordinary events I've seen in my academic life. Um, uh, to see, uh, let's see, it was nine ambassadors and, and uh, other senior representatives, plus uh, Lee Hamilton and Senator Luger. Exactly 10 years ago, Bulgaria became a NATO member with a very, very fervent, very dedicated support of Senator Luga, so I will never ever stop to say thank you to you, Senator. And then that night, to have uh, the performance of the Britain War Requiem uh, was, uh, I think with anybody's estimation, one of the most memorable events in the history of the university. Portraying war through music, I think reaches people on a level that you can't reach in other ways. I think it's really unique and I think it's a great way to commemorate um, and to think back and to reflect on these great wars that have happened. I think it's, it, it really is um, just essential for our students to have um, a, a reasonably detailed grasp of what's happening in the world and some knowledge of, of the history that has led to where we, where we are in the world and they simply will not be successful or as successful as they could be unless they really have some understanding of the rest of the world outside of the, the, the boundaries of, uh, of Indiana, outside of the Midwest and even outside of the United States. So, so one of the most important things we can do for our students is provide that international component of their education and of course understanding the present is immensely important, but understanding the past is just as important because the past led to the present.